Hello everyone, Allie here and welcome to the gold mine. Thank you so much for joining me here on another episode at Allie's Treasure Trove. Today we do a continuation of the two videos from Titan Cards over on Monday and Tuesday, Allie's Retail Finds with my personal favorites, Opeachy Platinum Hockey. So, did manage to find a couple of blasters. I will admit I've opened up about three of these off camera already. Didn't find anything crazy, but I did find some neat looking cards. And hopefully in these two here I have in store for you guys today, I'll find some more awesome additions to my collection. As you guys know, I'm mainly hunting lightning cards here, but there are target blaster exclusive parallels, the red surge base set parallel. And of course we can look for autograph rookie cards as well, which in Opeachy Platinum should all be on card. And then Blaster Exclusive in general, collecting Neon Yellow Surge parallel of the base set. So interesting, interesting. So there is one bonus pack inside for a total of five packs per box, four cards per pack. Excited to see what we can find here in Opeachy Platinum Hockey. So let's go ahead and swap views and very excited to get started. So I did switch up the mats again. You guys may have seen this. Uh, yesterday, obviously, I'm in Game of Thrones cosplay for that Game of Thrones uh, break, but I meant to record this on Monday and then I ran out of time. And then I was gonna do it on Tuesday night and then I just completely forgot. I went home, ate pizza and was like, oops, I have to squeeze time into my day on Wednesday in order to have a video for you all on Thursday. So initially I was struggling a bit with my makeup as you guys may see in the alley chats on Sunday. And I was like, if I don't have time for this OPG Platinum opening, uh, we're not having content on, on Thursday, but Excited to see what we have here in Opeachy Platinum. So, of course, we have Sidney Crosby on the box. Let's go ahead. He's on the packs as well. So, five packs here. One bonus pack. So, not a bonus pack like the Prism NASCARs. I'll go ahead and link that video from Monday over on Titan Cards. That had a bonus pack with Blaster Exclusives only in it. Uh, these are regular packs. And we'll see what Blaster Exclusive we can find. Like I said, Target of the Reds. And Blasters in general have Neon Yellow. So let's go ahead and see what we can find, if anything at all. Just excited. I was actually very surprised. All the blasters I've been buying recently have been like $30. The Prism NASCAR, Prism WNBA, Allure Hockey, Skybox Hockey. And I got a couple of these, expecting them to be $30, and they're only $20. And I was like, oh, I remember the days when blaster boxes used to be $20. This is sick. So that's why I had more than just two. I, I kept finding more, and I kept buying them. And I called my mom was like, yo, our Target has OPG Platinum. And then she got some. So, ooh, I see a Violet Pixels. Those are numbered to $4.99 coming up. Well, that's cool. Sunset Romanov, marquee rookie here for the Canadiens. That's neat. And, oh, okay. More Canadiens rookies. Marquee rookie Violet Pixels. Alex Belzeal, which is a little hard to read, but the Violet Pixels look really cool. So that is neat there. Number 221 out of $3.99. I think I said $4.99 earlier. I was mistaken. Perhaps last year they were out of $4.99. This year, actually, the Aquamarines are out of $4.99, so it makes sense that the Pixels are not. All right. All right. I think I'm off to a good start. I've already had one numbered card. I always get baited here. Stars goalie, that's not Ben Bishop. Tiffany, though, let me know that Ben Bishop is actually going for conditioning, which I'm excited to hear. So hopefully he can play again soon. Pareko Silver. Hey, braided points. Nice. So that is Red Surge. This is the Target exclusive, Braided Points. And Jake Ottinger, Marky Rookie. You'll love to see it. We got something up here. Ah, that should be a rainbow insert. Or a retro insert, rather. Not a retro rainbow, just a regular retro. Nico here for the Devils. New Joyzy Devils. Gabe Velarde, Marky Rookie. And before Ali finds golden ticket, golden treasures, whatever it's called, Connor McDavid out of a blaster box. That would be insane. But Quinn Hughes. Ooh, we have best in the world in Sir Austin Matthews. Another red surge here. Jacob Silverberg for the Ducks. And Brad Marchand for the Bruins. Keep Braden Point on top. Why is the first card upside down? Paul Mary. And we do have silver here, Alexia, or rainbow, rather. They're called rainbows in OPG Platinum. So used to silver prisms. They are called rainbow. Marky Rookie, Red Surge, Zamula for the Flyers. 
And regular Romanov at the back. All right, so fruitful box number one. Three target exclusives. A Sunset Romanov. And a Violet Pixels Canadian's rookie, Belzeal. One of the retails being, of course, my favorite team. So I'm, I'm enjoying this so far. Having a blast with Opeachy Platinum. Opeachy Platinum is one of my favorite sets. Of course, the cup is really neat too, but that's super expensive. Regular hockey is very neat. I love Skybox this year. Excited that we're going to have Skybox hockey again next year. I really like Opeachy Platinum. It's the first hockey sets, of course, that when we were able to do breaks over in the Titan Cards channel that we did a lot of Opeachy Platinum. It was a lot of fun. I really like SBX as well, but in terms of stuff you can find in retail, this is my favorite. Ooh, we have... Ooh, we do have an Aquamarine. I love these. They're neat. They're weird. Like seafloor parallels. But I like them a lot. Darnell Nurse. Sunset. Colin White. Aquamarine. 444 out of 499. Another numbered card. I feel like I've been seeing one numbered card per blaster for Opeachy Platinum out of everything I've opened, which is nice. Red Surge, Blake Wheeler for the Jets. Hey, Stutzla Marky Rookie. It does have a dent in it. Classic Upper Deck and Lilsgren Marky Rookie. So this does have a dent. If you guys remember, we were having horrible quality control issues with OPG Platinum. We ended up out of the full case. Full case of 16, right? Uh, yeah, two inner cases of eight, I believe. Yeah. And uh, we ended up pulling, I think, like six Stutzlas. Only one of them was in acceptable condition. So, a lot of them did have, if you guys saw, like crazy roller marks, gunk, scratches, or dents like this one. So, unfortunately, this one is dented as well, but... Do I particularly care too much? No, because I pulled it. If I bought it off eBay and I got sent that for like 25 bucks, I'd be very mad. But, that's cool to have. Like I said, does did seem like a lot of our Stutzla cards, especially. He was the one we ended up having the least of after I culled through all of the bays. But PK Subban Rainbow, Letunov, Retro, and Kevin Fiala base. And we have sweet selections, Martin Kant inserts. Another red surge here, Lilsgren. And Hoglander, Marky Rookie. All right, last pack. We've already ripped through two blasters. Oh my, so quickly. Do we have another red surge here? Oop, we got a couple upside down cards. Sergey Bobrovsky here, team color for the Florida Panthers. Other Florida team, but hey, that's neat. Finishing off with a Mitch Marner. All right, so pleasantly surprised by finding one numbered card per blaster, as well as three target exclusives per blaster. Now, some of the other blasters that I opened off camera, we did see some of the neon blaster exclusives, the yellow neon, but we didn't see any here. Instead, we did find a couple of rarer inserts, best in the world, and sweet selections. I said rare inserts. These are like one in almost 20 packs or so out of hobby boxes. The odds are a little bit better for these in retail, but still out of only, only 10 packs, that is impressive to find both of those. Also did have a numbered card per blaster, Colin White Aquamarine to $4.99. And the Belzeal Marky Rookie Violet Pixels. That was number two, $3.99. Again, my favorite red surge here was the Braid in Points, but we also found Silverberg, Zamula, Wheeler, Lilsgren, and Bobrovsky. We also had two sunsets. Sunsets are my favorite unnumbered parallel. We had Romana from box one and Darnell Nurse non-rookie from box two. Then in total, did find just three regular rainbows. So got a lot more of the retail exclusive parallels than the regular. These are the lowest tier, uh, most common unnumbered ones. And of course, did have that damaged Stutzla. Once again, the only damaged guard happened to be a Stutzla. Like, just seems like perhaps a lot of those got messed up at the factory because that is the one when we opened up a full case over on Titan Cards. Was the worst condition rookie that we found. And even the one that I, I, I labeled as passable wasn't perfect, but it was definitely a lot of quality control issues when we opened up the case. Well, the, in, the second inner case was bad. 
first inner case was beautiful, very impressed, but definitely got a little bit, got a little bit down in the dumps there with inner case number two. Started off with the first four boxes being absolutely horrendous quality. So much stuff went wrong there, but beautiful set. Happy to pick it up at retail. Happy to, of course, peruse singles online, be able to check the individual conditions of those. And add some neat stuff to my collection, which I happen to do here with just two blaster boxes. And with that, I'm a bit pressed for time, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap things on up. Really hope you all enjoyed this opening here. I know typically on the Trove I don't open a lot of stuff, but when I find some things that I do enjoy, I tend to hold on to them. And then for a rainy day where I don't have a lot of time to record or just don't have any inspiration for anything else, do like doing product openings. So I hope you guys enjoyed this here. And if you guys would like to see more of me opening stuff, if this is perhaps your first time joining here, make sure you go check out the description down below. Titan Cards is the main channel where all I do is unbox stuff all day long. So make sure you go check that out. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments from me, drop those down below. And if you're not yet part of the Ali's Treasure Trove family, I'd love to have you join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here, I do have to give a big shout out to all of my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you so much, y'all, for your above and beyond support. I really, truly do appreciate it. We do have four Ultimate Excavators, Jack Perez, Keith Mina, Mako, and Stephen Olivo, three Gemstone Miners, and then Bounty Hunter Breaks and Stephen Bly, and one Crystal Collector, Natalie Ruiz. But thank you so much again to all of my patrons, whether you're on a tier in which I say your name at the end of every video or not. Really, truly do appreciate your above and beyond support. But with that, that does wrap things on off here for this Thursday. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. And of course, like I said a little bit earlier, we'll be having an alley chat on Sunday since of course it is the week for it. You guys can see me get ready into this redheaded mess. <laughs> but really hope you guys enjoyed this one here. And of course, I hope you'll join me next time as we unearth some more treasures here on Allie's Treasure Trove. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye.